All right, so I was reading this article here about System76 launching their all AMD laptop, the Pangolin, which I think this laptop's great. But we have to talk about the value that you get for your dollar when you buy a Linux-based piece of hardware, which if you don't know, that's just any piece of hardware that comes with Linux out of the box from any company out there. Your bang for buck is crap. Let's go ahead and see this Pangolin laptop, what you get for the base model. So the base model of the Penguin, or Pangolin, however you want to say it, um, you can choose your operating system. There's no, no, you know, price difference there. Obviously, it's Linux. So with the base model here, you're going to get a Ryzen 5 4500U. Now I want to go ahead and specify this. I'm going to compare this to a different laptop, but the laptop that I have has a Ryzen 5 4650U, a touchscreen, eight gigs of RAM and the same amount of storage. And it cost me, oh, I mean, with it being a small form factor too, I will go ahead and say this. Normally when you go below 15 inches, like 14 inches, 13 inches, you're going to pay a premium anyway. My laptop was, I believe, $699. I, I think with taxes and everything all said and done, it was a little bit over $750. That's the value that I got for my laptop. You get a Ryzen 5 4500U with the base model, 8 gigs of RAM, 240 gigabytes of storage, and that's about it. You get you get the one-year warranty, but to be honest, Lenovo, just about anybody's going to give you a one-year warranty with your purchase. So that's nothing new. So you're spending $850 on this base model Pangolin. If we go over here to Amazon, you can get an Acer Aspire 5. Now, I'm not a big fan of Acer, but... They're not bad laptops. They're just very much budget oriented. It's a 15 inch Ryzen 5 4500U. So you're getting the same processor. You're getting eight gigs of RAM, getting 256 gigabyte NVMe drive. So they, they say 240, two, when they say 256 here on Amazon and stuff, you should assume you're gonna get a 240 gigabyte SSD to be honest. You might end up getting a little bit more storage space for this laptop here, but I highly doubt it. You're essentially getting the same. And it's got a backlight keyboard, just like the Pangolin. So why buy the Pangolin when there is an almost $300 difference between this laptop and the other one? And here's the thing. I'll go ahead and say this. I don't for a second believe that the LCD or yeah, the screen in this laptop is going to be any worse or better than the Pangolin. The hardware in these two laptops is most likely extremely similar, if not the same. Why, oh why, can we not have Linux hardware that's priced, I don't know, competitively? I would love to be able to support System76, um, Pine, um, I can't even remember their, the people who make the Pine phone. I can't remember the company's name, it's, it's leaving now, I think it's Pine, I can't remember. Anyway, there's plenty of Linux hardware manufacturers that I would love to be able to support, but they're not competitive at all. And I don't have $300 to blow just because I want to support like the ideology of open source and free software. I just, I just don't. I need, I need that bang for buck. If I'm going to spend the money, I, for one thing, when I bought this laptop, I didn't have almost $900. I mean, 750 was literally like that was topping out my max. I mean, that was the, the most I have for my budget. Why, why is Linux hardware priced so uncompetitively in the market? I, I don't understand it. Maybe it's just these bigger companies have better deals with wholesale manufacturers or, or what. But for the general public, it is extremely difficult to justify purchasing a laptop from a manufacturer like System76. And that really, really does hurt because I would love to be able to give them my money but I just can't justify it. I would love to be able to purchase System76 hardware, especially one of their desktops. They're great. I just, I can't justify it and it, it sucks. I would love to be able to justify it. So if any one of you guys out there are a little bit more knowledgeable in the hardware space and you wanna let everyone else know why Linux hardware is so expensive right now, please do, because I mean, to be honest, the only thing I can think is that these big companies like Acer, Razer, um, I'm trying to think Dell, 
they have better deals with wholesale manufacturers. I'm, I'm just going to assume that's what it is. But still, until those Linux hardware prices drop, I can't justify it. But I sure would love to be able to. So thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button and consider hitting that subscribe button. I post videos pretty frequently. And then if you'd like to support the channel and make sure that, you know, the lights stay on, I keep making videos. I'm not going to ask for your money. All I'm going to ask is that you go down in the description, check out my link to Odyssey. Go over there. You can watch my videos, some fantastic other creators. My dog's barking. All right. All right. Now all the dogs in the house are starting to bark. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this real quick. The dogs can just be in the background. Just go down there. Check it out. You can watch great creators. You'll earn crypto on the platform. It's LBC and you can tip me in it. And that helps me a ton. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.